pastors ain't in the street because they're not the real pastors. Right. They are the white man's pastors. They are Satan's pastors. Right. God said his pastors will be right here in the street talking to his people. That's right. <laughs> Where they at, though? We're going to prove that Christ drank wine. It's not a sin to drink. It's a sin to get drunk. Right. So ain't nothing wrong with you drink. It's a sin to, for you to be sitting here while we're stumbling around and stuff. Right. Now you're not sober no more. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like I told you. Like the man over there, he said, we don't know what Christ looked like. Yet and still they hung him on the cross. And then he wrote it down so today when somebody come with a false image, you know good well they lying to you. Right. You go to church on Sunday, you're lied to. You're right. following the slave master if you go to church on Sunday. Period. Right. There is no getting around it. Because the white man, that white image of Christ, told us to go to church on Sunday. Right. God said, the black Christ said, Saturday. Right. That's right. But yet still, our people break the fourth commandment. Therefore, we put another God before God. Right. That means you done broke all the first three and the fourth one. Right. Now you idol worshiping now. Break it out. <laughs> but our people have no understanding of that because we're just repeating traditions that we were taught in slavery and nobody now has to force <coughs> us to. Right. Read. As white as snow. Read on. And his eyes was a flame of fire. All that means is eyes was red. Let's see why. Go to Genesis. Genesis 49 and 12. Let's see. Because all the way back in Genesis, it told us about what Christ was going to do when he came. What was Christ's first miracle? Turning water into what? You thought he poured it out for his homies or he drunk it? Break it out. You see what I'm saying? He's going to turn it into wine for everybody else to drink it. But I can't drink it. But I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it into wine and I'm going to sit here and look at everybody. He didn't do that. Right. He drunk some of it too. It was a feast. It was a marriage feast. Right. What we do when people get married? Break it out. Your family get married. Everybody sit around and have a drink. Toast to that thing. Because it's a beautiful thing for our people to get married. Right. right. Read. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Read. Bring it out. eyes shall be red with wine. That's easy. That's easy to understand. Thank you yes, sir. That's okay. easy to understand. What so they now, meant by the new wine? Go back to Matthew. Hold on. That's strong drink. Yeah, strong drink the is new in wine. the Bible. Ain't nothing wrong with drinking okay. alcohol. Nothing. Now, let's go to Matthew 11, 19. Matthew what chapter, they call Christ. Matthew chapter 11 verse 19. Three. The yeah. son of man came eating and drinking. So this is talking about Christ, right? Son of man. We're talking about Christ. Came eating and drinking. Read on. And they say, behold, a man gluttonous. Meaning he ate meat because John the Baptist came before him and he didn't eat meat. So now Christ eating and now they want to call him a gluttonous. Meaning to eat too much meat, you are in sin. So now they want to say he was a sinner now. When he ain't do no sin. Read on. And a wine bibber. Why would they call him a wine bibber if he never drunk it? Bring it out. Bring why it out. Would they say, well, why would they accuse him of drinking a whole lot of wine if he never drunk it? Bring right. it out. See what I'm saying? So our people in Christian churches will say, it's a sin for you to drink. We just read it out of the Bible. Christ did it. Right. right. So you're telling me he sinned? Is that what they're telling us? Is that what they said? You see what I'm saying? That's what they're saying. <laughs> That's what they're saying. That's what they saying. But they don't know what the Bible says. They're right. following a pastor but, who lies to them all day. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Is that the, like what version Bible? This King James Version Bible. Bible. It's the Apocrypha. 14 chapters that they took out of the Bible. So now, 14 books. Now, they, now, now you when you read and you hear it, there's neither Jew, there's no difference between Jew nor Greek in the New Testament. You don't know who the Greek is that you're talking about. You know, white dude. Right. You talking about you. Right. right. Because they were living like Greeks, so they were forced because they would have died if they said they were the Jews. Right. So now, why would what would you call yourself if you couldn't say you was an Israelite or a Jew back then? Greek. Right. So then, now they children born in captivity, what they call themselves, just like what today we call ourselves black. African American, we are born in slavery right here. Bring it out. So now you're calling yourselves something that's been passed down. I'm older. I was telling them earlier. I'm older than the term African American. I cannot be African American. Teach. If I ask how old you are, well, how old are you, my brother? 44. You older than me. So me and you definitely older than the term. So we ain't yeah. no African American. Right. right. But they'll tell us that and then we'll follow their doctrine right. as right. well. That's now true. we got our people going to church on Sunday and then wonder why the white man can put his knee on your neck and kill you and get away with it. Right. That's actually written in the Bible. Did y'all know that? Yeah, I see your face. See, look at that me funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get that thing. Yeah, Zechariah 11. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Let's see if that was already wrote that it was going to happen. 
and now we live it every day now. Right. Read. Whose possessors? Are we still under our slave masters today? Yeah. Are we still in slavery today? Yeah. yeah. It said, whose possessors? That's your slave master. They, pos they still possess us today. If I asked y'all y'all last name, what would it say? Right. What's your last name? Slave master's name. Everybody. Slave master's name. We all walking around here with slave master's name. Right. But according now, mind you, mine ain't. I changed mine. Oh, no, I ain't gonna get to that. I changed my last. My last name now is Israel. Is it difficult to do that? No, it's no, it's not hard to do. Now you gotta pay for it, but you know you gotta do it according to the laws and stuff right. like that. But read that. Listen Second up, bro. Word. Listen up, bro, because I know you had looked at me funny when I said that our people would get killed by our oppressors and they would get away with it. Read it. Zechariah chapter eleven, verse five. Read. Who's possessors? Slay them. They kill us. Read on. And hold themselves not guilty. That's in the Bible. That is in the same Bible all these Christian pastors just talked today and lied to everybody. Right. And said it's going to be peace. <clears throat> this is your season. Everything else. Work it out. And still, we are cursed. Why? You know Hosea 515. Bring it out. Read. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place. This is God talking. He used to fight our wars. We didn't have to do nothing. The kingdom of heaven was our, already ours. Right. We are, heaven is rulership. We already ruled. And then we lost it because God said, if you don't do what I said, I'm going to put your behind on slave ships. Right. That's going to be the whooping you get. You're going to come over here on slave ships and another man is going to rule you until you do what I said. Right. And look where we at. We still right here because we have not done what God said. Read. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Uh -huh. Bring it up. I will go and return to my place. So God is going to return to his place. Read on. Till they acknowledge their offense. That's what he's waiting for. When are we as a people going to acknowledge that we did God wrong, that we went against what he said? You got to acknowledge I'm a sinner. And not only do you got to acknowledge you're a sinner, now you got to stop sinning. But our people don't want to do that. We comfortable the way we live. I'm looking at God's. Right. Not regular men. Bring it up. We are comfortable living under all the other men. And I'm looking and talking to gods. That's what God called you. A God. That's your original state. Right. You are supposed to rule the world. And we are in slavery on the bottom without our natural power that God gave us. All because <clears throat> we decided to do the opposite of what God said. Right. Read. And seek my face. And the only way you seek God's face, can you seek it out of the Quran? Bring because it out. The Quran, that's an Arabian religion. Bring it out. I ain't talking to Arabians. I'm not talking to no Arabian. Well, they, I'm talking they, to they black men. They right? They don't, that was the first one, the sub saharan slave trade. That's right. right. And then, so the same way we did it for Christianity, our slave master gave us a religion. Same thing happened over there. Right. Now, all of us, now we want to be in Islam. It says the black man religion. That's right. right. It comes from an Arabian, but you're going to say that's yours? Bring it out. But the God that looks like you, you won't follow him. Because it say God is God is a black man. Christ is a black man. Bring right. it out. You will say that I ain't following that, but you're going to follow another race? Bring it out. And then you don't think there's going to be judgment in your neighborhood? You don't think there's going to be drive-bys? Bring it out. You don't think there's going to be the police come kill people? Jeez. They have the legal right to run up in your house. And ain't nothing you can do. They're the real kick. They're the real, uh, uh, they the ones that be hitting licks for real. Right. That's who do that for real. And it's legal for them. But if you did it, you go in jail for life. Free. In their affliction, they will seek me early. While we getting put to death, that's when you're going to say, Lord, Lord. While all this stuff is getting bad, that's when you're going to try to find out what I got to do. Because it's going to happen to me next if I don't get it right. Right. So he said, in our affliction, we will seek God early. Think about it. When I was men, think about it. We got gang members. You know what I mean? I grew up like that. It's what it is. You got people that grew up in them neighborhoods and stuff. I grew up all around and my brothers was in them. You see what I'm saying? So then, what would happen when they getting chased by the police and stuff like that? What do they, what's the first thing they call on? Who the first person they call on? The Lord. The Lord. But what does God say about it? Because see, we think God is lovey-dovey and soft as tissue paper. The same God that killed everybody before Noah, we think he don't exist no more. Right. Bring it he out. killed babies, women, men, didn't matter. Right. Only eight people live, 
and we think he don't exist. He's the same God today as he was back then. Right. So we don't think he'll kill us. Get Proverbs 1. Bring it out. That's it. Let's see how God feel about us running and then calling on him as our worst nightmares start to happen to us. <laughs> Let's see how God feels. Bring it out. Verse 20. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom quiet without. But that's where we at. Wisdom is right here. Wisdom is crying out to our people. Right. We are reading out of the Bible. This ain't my words. We reading God's word. But the pastor gave his words today. He lied today. Right. <laughs> she utters her voice in the streets. Where did God say they would, that, that, that the word would come out at? In the streets. Why the pastors don't do that? <laughs> because they're not they your pastor. Like right. They're not your pastor. Pastors ain't in the street because they're not the real pastors. Right. They are the white man's pastor. They are Satan's pastors. Right. God said his pastors will be right here in the street talking to his people. That's right. <laughs> Where they at though? <laughs> but yet still they making all the money, looking rich. Yeah. Uh, they riding around in the lacks, in the Benzes, in the Mercedes. Why the people that go there live in the hood? Projects, run down homes, can't even pay their light bill because they just gave you their last little bit of their check for some tired because you done lied and said it's their season and they gonna get through this. Why the Bible says there is no peace. Right. Right. None, none. There is no peace while we living like this. Read. She quiet in the cheap place of Concord. Where are people going to be walking and everything? Ain't that what we see? <laughs> Read on. In the openings of the gates. Uh -huh. In the city. Read. She utters her words saying, how long ye simple ones? God is asking, how long are we going to stay simple? How long are we going to stay simple as a people? Because for us to go to church on Sunday and know it's a lie and know the fourth commandment, that's, a, that's terrible. Right. We know to keep the Sabbath day holy, and we'll still go on the first day of the week. Right. And, and say we good. Right. Oh, you ask everybody, how you feeling? They shoot. I'm good. <laughs> that's how we talk. I'm good, bro. Hey, you go to church? Yeah, I just went this morning. Uh-huh. You went on Sunday, but you, did you go yesterday? No, nah, I ain't going. Why we do that? And look at me like I'm crazy. Right. When I'm asking you about the commandments, and you sitting here looking at me like I'm crazy. Shoot, I think you crazy. Right. You the one went in there and listened to lies and knew it. Right. And then sat in there and was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Three. How long, ye simple ones, uh -huh. will ye love simplicity? Because we love what we doing. We actually love being on the bottom. We can't say we don't because if we didn't, we would try to fix it. We would be looking for solutions. We actually love living in the hoods. You know why we love doing so? Because you can do what you want to do. Now, mind you, there's it's cameras set up all over this city. And we think we're getting away with all the stuff that we're doing. All they're doing is building the case. So when you won't help the white man do what he wants you to do, are we locking you up now? Right. Now you have to do what he said or you're going to go on the sale. You have to do what he said or you're going to sit in a box. So now you got a decision to make. Like Denzel said, you want to go home or you want to go to jail? Bring it out. <laughs> now you got to make a decision. But they watching the whole time. But what can they do about what we doing? Shoot, they might lock us up. But you locked me up doing this. So I'm just going to do this when you put me in prison. Shoot, I'm going to read it right there with somebody. That's now right. you're going to try to kick me out of there because people going to start listening to her. Right. So either way, you're going to do something. You got to do something with them. <laughs> to read it on. The, and scorners. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Well, because they love to argue with the Bible. Just like oh, we had a brother in Islam. Because I have called and ye refuse. Because that's what God is doing. He's calling y'all. Whether y'all think he's talking to you or not, you, we ain't read. We're reading his word. He's talking to you. Read on. I have stretched out my head and no man regarded. He's trying to help our people, but our people don't want God help. We want everybody else help. Read on. But ye have set at not all my counsel. But you took everything God said. I don't want it. Y'all wish I could. I don't want that. Read on. And you would none of my reproof. So you didn't take the correction he did and fix it. You said, I'm going to stay how I am. you going to deal with it, God. Let's see how he's going to deal with it. Read. I also will laugh at your calamity. He said he will laugh at your calamity. Imagine. Imagine. I'm a dope boy. I'm got all, I got all the dope. I'm stashing it. I'm going to run up in my house where I'm at. And then they come up in there and shoot me. Or they shooting at me and I'm running now. Now I'm running. Right? Bullets flying everywhere, right? That's the that's the dope boy's worst nightmare. That's the dope boy's worst nightmare. Or the police doing it. Right. Imagine bullets flying all over you, right? What did say God gonna do? I also will laugh. Laugh. 
we think God is powder puff. Right. He's letting it happen to you. Right. Because you won't do what he said. Right. He said, I'm going to laugh at your calamity. Your worst nightmare going to come to pass in your face. And he going to laugh at you. Right. Because what they going to do? Read. I will mock when your fear coming. He going to mock you. Don't nobody read that in church. They right. tell you God love everybody. Right. You know, God is going to do certain stuff for you. Right. But if you don't do what he said, he going to mock you and laugh when your butt get canceled, you drop dead, right. or you on the run. Right. He's laughing. Read. Verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your desolation cometh uh -huh. as a whirlwind. It's going to come out of nowhere. We think we're going to walk around this place, man, and just do what we want to do. White people ain't watching us on camera. And then that day, you don't think that day going to come? It's coming. Me and it's going to come out of nowhere. And then God going to laugh and say, I tried to give you a chance. I gave you time. Gave you I sent my people to you because now that's why we out here talking. Right. And then you're going to remember, they tried to tell me. Right. They tried to tell me. Now look where I'm at. Read on. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, uh -huh. then shall they call upon then me. Then they're going to do what when, our, when the worst nightmare comes? Then shall they oh. call upon me. Oh, Lord. You're going to stand in front of the judge. Lord, please don't let me get life. Or you're going to be running in the bullets flying, Lord, Lord, please don't let them hit me. That's how we do. But then what God said when they call. But I will not answer. He ain't going to answer them. Right. He's not going to answer them. How you doing, sis? You go to church? Did you go to church? Yes, not since I moved back down here. Though, okay, yes, you heard I do. what we just read, how God is going to laugh and not answer us because we won't do what he said. You ever heard oh, that oh, before? Yes, yeah, I agree with you on that. You see what I'm saying? What day of church you go on? What day do you go to church? What did you go? On oh, Sunday. Oh, what's Sunday. the fourth commandment out of the ten? Keep the what day holy? The seventh. What's the, the seventh. seventh day of the week? It should. It's, I, I thought it was Saturday. Though. It is. So why you go on Sunday? I know. I, that's what man. That's man. See? That's what man right. made. You see? But then when our people get all the diseases, because we lead in all the worst diseases, heart disease, AIDS, all the sexual, all the sexual transmitted disease you can think of, we are number one. Work it out. Matter of fact, we are the biggest murderers of our own children. Right. Guess there are 1,700 black babies killed a day. Right. Right. Guess where that's at? Guess who does it? We do. <laughs> How? Rules that whole what? <laughs> Dang. Right. Abortion. Right. The Abortion. worst place for a Abortion. black baby is in a woman's womb. Right. Right. Why is that? Why? 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 Why is it? Because she's gonna kill you. Right. Seventeen hundred a day. I can't even do the math. Do a year. Somebody yeah. do seventeen hundred yeah, times three hundred sixty-four. Yeah. Bring it out. See oh, how many babies man. is killed per year. That's just black people, not Hispanics, not Native Americans, because those are they Israelites too. Right. They Israelites too. That's just black people. African Americans, that's it, 1,700 a day. So today, 1,700 babies got put to death that look like me and you. 600, 20,500 babies a year right. get killed. That's an average just by black people in the womb. Yes, sir. When is the curse that God put us under supposed to end? I know it's coming up. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Good question. Good question. That's a great question. When does this end for me and you? <laughs> when does this end for me and you? Hey, come on over, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. It's talking about future tense, right? It yes. said it shall come to pass, meaning it ain't going to happen today. It's going to be in the future. Read on. When all these things are come upon thee. So all these things, things like what? The blessing the, and the curse. The blessing was under King David and King Solomon when we was in rulership. The curses, that's what we live in now. Mm -hmm. So it has that, ha, they happening, right? Read on. Which I have set before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt call them to mind. Now you're going to call these things to mind. Remember, you will remember. You are an Israelite. Right. Not no African American, because you're the real Jew, sis. That's you ever right. heard that before? Yes, I you read the Bible on Sunday, yeah, and your pastor will tell you that you're the Gentile. Mm -hmm. Right. But are you the Gentile? No. So why are you going to send it again? Good question. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. We can't do that. So it said that that's going to happen. You're going to call them to mind. You will remember who you are. Read. Among all the nations. Not just in America. 
we doing this in South America. We in Europe. We in uh, uh, Spain. We everywhere teaching this thing. It's been coming out all over the place. We got schools in Africa. Bring in it out. Islands. Right. We everywhere doing this. Y'all just see four of us. Yeah. Shoot, you go to their website, you're going to see a whole bunch of us. Right. And that ain't even all those what you see on the website. Read on. Whither the Lord thy God have driven thee, uh -huh. and shall return unto the Lord thy then God. We It said, we're going to return to God to do what he said. Right. So the laws that the officer brought out about how we will dress, we're going to start to do that as a nation of people. The fact that we will stop going to church on Sunday and go on Saturday, we're going to do that as a nation of people. Right. Our children will no longer believe that the so-called white man is Jesus. They're going to know that the black man is Jesus. That's right. right. They will know that. And all the doctors of us following Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving will stop because those are worshiping devils. Right. right. Christmas is in the Bible for us not to do it. Right. But we don't even know it's in there. So it says, after we do that and return to God with everything we got as a people. Read on. And shall obey his voice. We're going to keep the commandments now. Oh, we're going to keep the commandments. Now it's beautiful to walk up and down your street. Right. Now you ain't got to worry about nobody doing nothing to you. Right. You ain't got to worry about it. We come to the worst parts of every city we go to because we right at home. Right. We grew up in them same neighborhoods. Right. Like I said, I used to live just up the street from here. Like I said, I used to walk up and down Saluda passing flyers out by myself. I ain't even had this on. I had on regular clothes. Right. Used to go right down here to Platinum Cuts and get my own haircut. Matter of fact, and walk right there passing out flyers. Go down there to the gas station on the corner. Right there across the Burger King passing out flyers. And just sit there and wait on people. Hey, here, take this flyer with you. Take this flyer with you. But it's going to be a beautiful thing once this right here start happening. Now you're going to be walking up and down your street and everybody going, hey, hey, shalom, princess. Because that's what you are. You are a princess to God. Right. God called you an Israelite. That's what your name means. You are a princess with power with hey, God. <laughs> Read on. And shalt obey his voice uh -huh. according to all that I command thee uh -huh. this day. Yep. Read. Thou and thy children uh -huh. with all thine heart. And with all thy souls. Yes, yes. So our children, brother. So us and our children will be doing this. Free. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. Said, then will he turn our captivity. So now the same slavery we in, guess what we get to do to everybody else? We put them in slavery. Yeah. Right. Because we are the original rulers of the earth. Right. They're going to be your slaves. Right. Your slaves. And you see it in the videos we white Oh yeah, they put that stuff in movies, all that yeah, stuff, and it go it. right over our head because yeah. we just sitting there entertaining, eating the popcorn, chilling. But we ain't paying attention. They talking about us the whole time. And they're afraid. And they are afraid. afraid. But are they afraid of what we're seeing our people do just by chilling, selling dope to each other, killing each other, sleeping with one another? Are they afraid of that? No, because that's keeping their system up. Right. This is what they're afraid of. Yeah. This is what they are afraid of. Enlightenment. That's what they're afraid of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read on. And have compassion upon thee. And then God will have compassion on us. The mercy that we all be talking about, that's when he's going to have it. He ain't going to have it right here, right now, because we ain't doing what he said as a people. So, therefore, all the murders, all the police killings, they're going to get worse and worse and worse. Remember, we read they're going to get away with it. We already know that. So, why would we march? They had a march here. Black Lives Matter. Why would they do that if God already said you got to do what he said for you to get right? Because our people out here following white people, right. homosexuals, because that's who started that movement. And now they are pushing an agenda in our neighborhoods and teaching our kids in school a yay high that you have to accept homosexuals. Right, right. I remember growing up, I remember growing up where if a homosexual was in my neighborhood, he got his tail beat. Yeah. He got corrected. Yeah. Today, it's all good. Now our rappers wear dresses and everything. When God said, you do that, you're an abomination. We knew that. Just, I ain't old. I'm young. Right. And now today, because they've been pushing it for years, now everybody like, oh, it's all right. He all right. She all right. Oh, she good. She good. That's how we are now. But God said, no, that's not how we going to be. We cannot be like that. Is it it on that anymore? And we will turn 
and gather thee from all the nations. So then God is going to gather us from this land and every land we were sent in captivity and we're going to go home. We going home. Right. That's where I want to go. This is not my home. Everybody, we like to fight over blocks, but these blocks are owned by white people with cameras. And they got them pointing right at them. And we'll say that's my block. No, it's not. It's the white man's block, because if he showed up with the cops and shot at you, everybody, everybody running. Right. Matter of fact, if he just pulled the car, he ain't got to let one bullet go. Everybody leave. Right. Because it ain't your block. It belongs to them. Right. Because this is their heaven right now, because we won't do what God said. Right. right. And that's how we live as a people. And we are comfortable like that. But we are the best people on the planet. That's right. Everybody, as, as low as we are, everybody still copy us. The white woman still want to sit in the tanning bed to look like our women. Bring right? it up. Yet and still, we at the lowest of low, and they still want to be us. Right. You got the so-called white man. They want to be rappers now. They want to not shoot. They want to do everything we do. <laughs> but we the best, and they know we the best. And they want to be compared to us, and they not close. Yet and still, we comfortable where we at, and they want to be us so bad, but we want to be them. <coughs> Instead of being ourselves and being who God said, we want to be them, which is why we still in slavery today. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.